forget what you're doing. That's what happens. Uh, hello, everybody. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go. You got it right there. Yes, there you go. All right. Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. Yeah, I was scratching been, my nose. We've been getting a chuckle here, guys. Because y'all get one because y'all see me scratch my nose. All right, where I am I I asked Wanda, I said, how long is it before we start? We realized that she didn't even put a time up there. Well, I did, but, gosh, I'm trying to get us situated. Um, I didn't put the time 7 o'clock. It had an automatic time of when I, I clicked it up. Should I'll I, check it. Um, okay. Um, Our road monitor just went off, and yeah. we're kind of wondering, is somebody coming in, or is it a deer? Yeah. Or some other creature. Yeah, so. Uh, sometimes deer or foxes or stuff, you know, sets the road things off because we have monitors all over our property. And that one was for the road. Um, anyway. It is so good to see each and every one of you with us tonight. It is really, really good. Um. The fact that NSA spy deer, yeah, it may be spy deer. Who I mean who knows? No, it's just an animal. It was just an animal. It was an animal. Deer. Yep. Okay, I knew they were out there a while ago, right, out there in the yard. <coughs> oh. I had to check it just in case. I do have. We packages. always have to look to see because we have packages that come here and there and go and come and. And they'll just leave them and they'll get wet if it happens to rain or something. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but now we're in the deep south. You know, here we was a couple of days ago. It was like 71 degrees, and today the high was only 44 here. Mm -hmm. And tonight it's going to be a wind chill of 28 or 29. And then tomorrow morning, I mean, Sunday, Monday morning, will be 27 or 28 degrees wind chill. I mean, we don't like that. You know, um, anyway, but <laughs> man, uh, yeah, I am feeling a lot better. Seems like every day I feel better. Um, I haven't had my blood checked again. It's probably this week sometime. It'll probably have to be checked, but I wanted to give it a, two or three weeks and see how much it comes up from being at the hospital and having the uh, polyp removed to see if it comes on up. So we're going to check that in a week or so, but I have been feeling better. And I've been oh, yeah. wanting to do videos and wanting to plant. And Danny's like, okay, we don't plant yet, but yet we planted. We did plant. <laughs> yes. And I don't know if it was good or bad, because like I just told him, the temperature is going to be in the 20s for two days in a row. Oh, Jeff Outdoors is boiling maple syrup. Y'all know I love oh, me some maple man. syrup. And Wanda I got loves... about this much left in my maple syrup jar that yep. the last person sent me. I'm almost It's just plum disgusting to me, because here I am. <laughs> I'm making all this cane syrup that we eat in... She don't even want to eat it. She wants, I want the maple. <laughs> she's she's a she's a traitor to the South. You know what I mean? She just she's like I want some of that good old Northern maple syrup. You know I'm like some stuff in the North is pretty good. I, I told her I said well not I can't. Not the snow. Not the snow. I told her I says I cannot argue with you because when I lived up there, I loved maple syrup also. As a matter of fact, I've eaten 100 percent maple syrup for years until I got back into making my own cane again. But nevertheless. It is what it is, you know. Yeah, I told Miss Alice she made it in. Miss Lippy's gone to a dance thing what? for her granddaughter. Oh, I thought you meant Miss Lippy's gone oh, dancing. Yeah, I'm she's like, dancing. I could see Lippy and she, her, well, her and Buddy used to not could cut a rug now. They could. I mean, but they're going to watch the granddaughter. Okay. And it's Father's okay. Night, so that she's gonna. They, the dads are dancing with the daughters. They've been practicing ah. all week. To. To dance with the daughters on stage. So it ought to be pretty fun. It ought to be pretty good then. But I've been telling Miss Allison, she's getting snow. Lots of snow. And oh, I told her it's gosh, pretty. Like quit yawning. And I like seeing it, but I don't want to live in it. I, I, would, I would last probably two days near a <laughs> fire with some coffee and a she'd warm be, blanket and a She'd be ready book. to come back south, I can yeah, tell I'd you. I'd be headed south as soon as I walked out the door. When she tracked around that snow and it quit being pretty white snow and started being, basically when it started melting a little bit and the, and the mud started mixing in with it, 
Oh, she'd be over with for her. She'd be she'd be ready to go. Yep, everybody's saying maple syrup is the best. Yep. Now cane syrup's good, and I it like is cane good. syrup. Yeah, we I eat it every day. Just and about. I grew up with it, um, but I like that maple. And I had a waffle this morning. With she maple had a waffle this morning. She did. She a did. waffle that I made. Yeah, she made it. I didn't make it. Now. Uh, I made some. I can make them, but I didn't. I made some a couple of days ago. Yeah. So, uh, why are they saying happy birthday, Danny and Wanda? Why we have a birthday? I don't know. I don't know. There ain't no birthdays here. Yeah, Miss Allison says she's about ready to head south to like <clears throat> the, the summertime gets really hot and humid, and she says, "Okay, oh, I can do that." <laughs> she's got to uh, find a happy medium in between, and I don't know that well, there I'll is. I'll be honest, one. I don't think there is a happy medium anymore. No. I mean, used to you could say there was, but I don't think there is no more. Yeah, I think sometimes places up north are hotter than we are. At well, times. when I lived in central Mississippi, uh, the heat index up there was way worse than it is down here where we live toward the coast because we get a Gulf breeze. Mm -hmm. Up there, once you get below a certain point, the breeze stops, you know, and you just get hot and you just get humid and no mm -hmm. airflow. Yep. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm with Carolyn now. Carolyn uh, Moore Smith. Let me get, I, hold on here a minute. I think I got that right. I'm Moore sorry. Smith, yeah. Carolyn Moore Smith. Okay, gallberry honey is hard to beat. You know, I don't even know what a gallberry when, is. When I, I was in the uh, when I was in the timber industry, gosh, this was like twenty something years ago, uh, close to thirty years ago. I'm old, you know. It's it's been more than thirty years ago. It has been more than thirty years. I'm, hush. It's been a while. Hush now. It's been a while. <laughs> Anyway, we've been married 10. We've been you married 10. Been married Me and Derry was married 10, and my wife and was married 20. That means 40 years of my life I've been married. Pretty much. I've been married longer than I was ever single. Yeah. Longer than I went to school. Longer than. You, oh, you were in my the, in the, word. You were doing the timber in the. I was doing eight, the 80s? timber in the... Uh, the 80s is what you're talking about. Late 70s and early 80s. So you know how long that's been? A long time ago. Gosh, okay, it seems like yesterday. Your, continue with your honey story. But anyway, we would... uh, Where we live at down south here, we have what's called Gallberry, Gallberry Flats. You know, they don't get much over about four feet high. And, oh, great deer hunting in them too because the deer love gallberries. But also, I would cut trees down that had beehives in them. And I would get the honey out of them. People go like, you're a nut. I just go out there with a chainsaw and cut it down. No hat, no gloves, no nothing. I just cut this the tree down. This was before you knew that they wore total outfits, Yeah, right? I didn't know anything about outfits back then. I just, <laughs> I just cut the tree down. I took a chainsaw and cut it up. And bees, hundreds of thousands of bees going everywhere. I didn't think nothing about it. Never got bit. Sawed that joker up. And I actually found one hive that had purple honey in it. And I had to talk to a bunch of the old timers in the area where I was at, and they told me that was black gum honey. Now I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but it was uh, boy, it tasted had a little bit of a twang to it, but uh, it was unusual, and I kept a lot of it for years. Did you tell them you uh, you brought some of it home in everybody's lunch box? Oh yeah, I would go back to everybody and I'd say, empty your lunch boxes now. That was when they had metal lunch boxes. Yeah, when we had well, we had the big plastic ones. Oh, them big old, the big with, old the thermos? with the thermos thing on them. Yeah. yeah. I say empty. They said, "Why? I, what's going on, boss?" I said, "Empty all your lunch boxes." I said, "I'd load. I'd take the lunch boxes and go out there in the woods where I cut the tree up at, and I would just cut the honey out of the tree with knives, and I'd just pile it in everybody's lunch boxes and bring it back. I'd fill everybody's lunch boxes full of honey, and then clean them up and give them back to them. No, I let them have it because I didn't want it. I mean, oh, I had, they took it home too. I had so much honey, it was pathetic. Okay. Anyway. Uh, somebody wanted to know. Let me find where I was at. Okay. Uh, we are in South Mississippi, 30 miles from uh, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. They wonder what a gallberry is. I don't even. I don't know. I've heard of it. Um, well, you can Google it and check it out. I mean, it's a little bush that grows, like I said, three to four feet high. It's got a little little uh, black looking berry on it. Uh, it's little green leaves and little black berries, and it it it, it grows from. It's like a rhizome, really. It comes and grows on it and just sprouts up under from roots everywhere. And they make just whole big thickets of it, mainly under the pine timber. You don't see it so much anymore because all the pretty pine timber has been cut. All right, Sundowner wants to know: Did we get our potatoes planted yet? Y'all gonna yeah, have to go have to watch, watch our Pecan videos. Grove. Yeah, you got to go over to Pecan Grove. I told y'all all, all <laughs> videos now on planting 
is over at Pecan Grove. We're not doing Deep South videos on planting because we're not planting at Deep South. Now, we may do a few high tunnel videos there, but all planting videos is at Pecan Grove. We have a link in the description. You can just click it, take you right there, and subscribe to it. Yeah, and we may do an update sometime during the week on Deep South of what we're doing over at Pecan Grove so you know to run over and look because most yeah, people I mean I'm not going to give you not any... many people that are going over checking it out you know they don't realize that we're doing all our gardening over yeah. there so we may have to do some updates to remind people I'm not going to give you any detail at Deep South all the details on what I'm doing at Pecan Grove will be at Pecan Grove now at Deep South I may tell you what we're doing over here but I'm not going to give you step by steps and all that kind of stuff because it's just too much videoing for us to do. Yeah. We got New Zealand, New Zealand. Sandy Thrupp from from New Zealand. Yeah. Did I, did I see that right? Yeah. Hello from New Zealand, Sandy. Wow. Uh, pink parasol, Lisa, Lisi, Lisi, Lisa. Lies. Wait now, somebody L I S E. She told me how to say that. It may not be the same lady, but I saw that. I said Lice or Lisi. I don't, I, and they said it was like Lisa, I think. Let me see. I like think Lisa. they say Lisa. Okay. Pink parasol, L I S E. Okay, I see you now. Yeah. Okay. Did you tell me that is, is said like Lisa? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Sheila Hodges says she's been watching for nine months quietly. It's time to come <gasps> out the time closet. To, it's time to come out the closet, let me tell you now. Um, <laughs> All right, the Google search for bees on gallberries, and can you make tea from the gallberry? There's a Google search I that results. I don't know from about it. making tea from it now. I don't. I can't answer that one. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Is it running two channels more difficult than doing one? It is, it but is. it's two separate properties. Right. And last year I tried to incorporate deep deep south and pecan grove and show the gardening from pecan grove over at deep south and everybody was so confused and they're like you're not doing this at, why you know and it just got to be a big mess remembering which place i put it on and yeah. and it actually needed to be separate it needs well and, this is not deep south <laughs> yeah it is not deep south this is pecan grove well, and, well i uh, say this is i mean we uh, got a lot of people saying things like, yeah. I like it better that you show what's going on at Deep South, right. and you're showing everything that's at Pecan Grove. And I'm like, well, we're gardening at Pecan Grove. Well, I'm putting, I'm let, so look, I've been gardening at, over here at, at Deep South for, gosh. When to spoon onions? 20, 20 or, hold on. I've been, I've been gardening over here at Deep South for 20 years. It's time to let it just rest for a while, you know? I mean, I've got other land, why not do it? Uh, spooning onions is a while. Oh yeah, when to spoon onions. You don't spoon onions until they get to be like uh, big, you know, start coming. When you see the ground start breaking up above them, uh, usually late February, early March, you'll start seeing them, the ground cracking up. You start getting the dirt out from around them. Yes, Google also calls it the inkberry. The wild, uh, the wild, the Native Americans did use it uh, hmm. as as an ink. That's why I remember it. Yeah. Because it, it has that dark color to it. If you bust it or something, you bust something, it and get it on you. It's like it, it, it's, it's like a pulp, it's like off. a pulp berry. Yeah, it gets hard to get off. Yes. I do remember that now. That's why there I'm living. Hills Mill. Yes. And prep for eternity. I can see them because they're in blue. <laughs> Blue eyes, I'm telling you, we, everybody gets unsub from us every day. We, yeah, we, we, we this we've has been, been going on band. for almost two years. I look at our analytics, and I, it'll say we got 2,000, 2,500 mm. subscribers for the month, and we go up 100. They take away as many as they add every yeah. month, and they've been doing this for two years, and we're 1,400 or 1,500 from hitting 300,000. We have been about to hit 300,000 for, for almost two years. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. We, We've when had I, the look, people. When I went on and started telling the truth about things and exposing yeah. some things, uh, it, it didn't we make on the Google, <laughs> Google was not happy about that. So they began to uh, shadow ban us, take stuff away from us, take subscribers from us, and all that kind of stuff. Everybody kept telling me, said, well, just, you know, don't worry. Don't tell, you know, just... Do what you need to do. And I'm like, 
no. I said, I feel like that people should know, you know, what I can get away with. I feel like they should know it. And that's what the Lord lays it on my heart. Then I, I try to do it. Now, I can't tell everything. Uh, they're saying they're rolling back on all users. A lot of people say they have to go find us. They hit the like button. They YouTube turns off their notifications. Yeah. And it's not just us. It ain't just us. No. It's all, they're doing now, it to everybody. Let me say this. A lot of YouTubers out there pay for their stuff. I'm not paying for views. I'm not going to pay for somebody to edit my videos. I'm not going to pay to be put in an algorithm. I'm not going to go pay for all this stuff because it's not right. It's called it's 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 marketing, racketeering, whatever you want to call it. It's not right to have someone else doing your videos for you. It's not right having someone else uh, paying someone to get you views. Uh, it's not paying. I, I don't believe in paying for all that stuff. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are paying. And I know this because they told us years ago. They'd say, why don't y'all hire somebody to edit your videos? Why don't you hire somebody to do all the tags and all this? You'll make more. You'll They'll tag it right. Y'all, I tag it whatever I think because if it's Look, on beans, I'm going to tag it beans. We are I don't what do we are. what is up with this. You're yeah. not going to Google what is up with this. You're going to Google beans. So I try to tag it. And that doesn't get me anywhere in the algorithm, but it gets you the search bars. when you. I mean, If you can find it. Sometimes yeah. you may have to go past the front page because they're going to do all the popular things. And you have to keep going. I've learned it if you... Google something, don't hit the first few. Look past it and keep going because most of the information is going to be further down. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Um, oh, Jeff said he purchased elephant garlic hold on, only to find that I purchased elephant garlic pearl bulbs. Any difference in planting them with regards to the cloves? Will they produce a clove bulb again? Now, I'm, I'm guessing what you're calling pearl bulbs is what's called a, 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 a garlic, elephant garlic corm, a C-O-R-M. The answer is yes, it will make a clove, but it will take it two years to do it because it, uh, the first year it'll make a round bulb, and then you leave that round bulb in the ground, and the second year it actually breaks into cloves. Yeah. Um, Allison's right. YouTube gives everybody an identification handle. Even if you have a name... You have it, and they put you in categories according to, like, us as a uh, group. They put us in a category, and y'all get put in that category because you watch us, and if you watch other homesteading channels, all of us get grouped together. Yeah. And uh, the more popular ones get grouped in a different thing because they bring in a different set of people. Uh, a lot of y'all are homesteading, and you want to learn, or you're gardening on your balcony or on your back porch or in your yard um when you bring in all the crazies and everybody else and you just thousands and hundred thousand and two hundred thousand views you're getting a lot of people that ain't homesteading Get, so that's what we found gilman kindler says yeah. hi danny i have some cub parts i will give you uh you'll have to email me that's all i can say uh what's the email Deep South. Deep South Homestead at yeah. gmail.com. Yeah, Deep South Homestead at gmail.com. we got so many emails, I have to remember which one's which. But, you know, uh, I, I can't just sit back. Like, I did a video today. Um... Actually, I shot porch time today. Don't give it away. I'm not going to give it away. I, <laughs> he gives his stuff away. I shot I porch time today because something came out here just a few days ago. And I told Wanda, I said, I got to go ahead and shoot this for porch time. I said, because people need to know this. And is it going to get me in trouble? I don't know. But I feel like I needed to do it and do it today while it was fresh on my mind. I mean, as long as it's fresh on my mind, I'm not going to forget about it. But if he had waited for another day or two, he, all the thoughts he was having once he first saw it would have went away. Yeah, I was aggravated. And uh, so he he did porch time, and y'all going to enjoy it. I thought he did a good job with porch time. And I don't say that very often, do 
No, usually my porch times get edited so bad because... No, I don't edit a lot. I say a lot, and she goes, you can't say that. You can't say that. And I'm like, we're going to get us in trouble, or this or that. No, uh, I don't and edit And you know much. me, I'm just going to say... I, I, I just say what comes to my mind. But... I don't we, care if it hurts them or not. <laughs> but where I was going with, uh, we are only like 1,400 away from uh, 300,000. Danny and I are going to start doing some giveaways. And uh, we've got some we books. We do. we got some books you guys are going to love. The Carla Emery books should be coming in soon. We're going to be giving those away. I yep. found some cookbooks. I only found a couple, but yeah. everybody keeps asking about my cookbooks. And, and Danny found a couple in the car that got stashed. <laughs> I found, we, we, were, well, we were coming back from the doctor. And I was in the back seat. I never sit in the back seat. I've never sit in the back seat of any of our us. vehicles. And I'm sitting in the back seat while her daughter's driving. And I look in the, under the seat there in the thing. I said, what is that? And I pulled it out. I said, Wanda. I said, what's these two cookbooks back here for? And she goes, <laughs> what cookbooks? I said, there's two of your cookbooks stashed back here. And she said, well, I didn't know they were there. So, voila. We have two cookbooks now that we can bless somebody with. Yeah. And then... On top of that, I'm going to give away one set of Danny's books to somebody that doesn't have any. And we're going to be giving away some herb seeds. And we're going to be, uh, I think it is So Right Seeds is sending me some yes, seeds. Yes, So Right sending us some seeds. We um, uh, had some communication with them this past week. And we told them, said, look, we need you to send us some seeds to send our people. And they're yeah. like, okay, we'll do that. And then... Um, we got some special stuff. I am hoping at some point to give away a Vigo bed of some sort. We're hoping to. Um, I ain't promising, but we're hoping. I think that's going to happen. Um, what else? We um, well, we got. We the, have a few others up our sleeve that maybe we can give away here. In, now, guys, let me say, hold some on, hold on, hold on. Rods. I probably, can do we that. might, we might can do that. But let me tell you something. So. It will be. It will not be announced as a giveaway because nope. we've got too many. I don't know if it's bots, if it's yeah, it's some type of bot or some something. some kind of bot up. or something that shows up when we do giveaways. They put up all this stupid junk that want people to click on it. And we will be saying we have something to bless people with. And it might be in a live stream. It might be in a Danny's porch time. And it might be a pop up video uh, if I do something over on Deep South. It won't be on Pecan Grove. Because this is not Pecan Grove that's doing the giveaways. Right. But it will be on Patreon. So anybody that's yep. on Patreon, we're gonna our patrons are gonna get like a book or two here and there, and then some seeds. And so we're gonna split it between Patreon and Deep South Homestead. So you have to watch the videos on on this. And if you're a patron, I'm not telling y'all to go over and sign up for Patreon, but we got a lot of people over there. And Danny and I want to bless somebody over there. We like to do that off and on. So um, you actually got to watch and see what we say. And uh, what does my shirt say? It says pray on it, pray over it, and pray through it. <laughs> on it, over it, and through it. Yes. And I ordered me some new shirts. Danny don't know that yet, but I did. I ordered some new I don't uh, care. T shirts like this it's, that are Christian just, T shirts. It's just money and I don't um, it don't mean nothing to me. So um uh, I'm I'm excited. And um Is a giveaway for USA only. Yes, it's for the lower forty eight. Well, if we do anything for out of out of the country it might be like a, a gift certificate or something and then you have to purchase it yourself because i can't ship you can't ship stuff lots of stuff so we'll we will ask if you're out of the united states and then we'll choose a something that we can share with y'all because lots of times people in other countries get left out and well, it is country, true, but if, we can't help what their governments do. Well, what I'm saying is if a company works with us and says, okay, we'll ship to them, then I can be the middle person and they can go ship it and I don't have to, you know, whatever. Um, did you get the real name Deep South Homestead? I'm not sure what that means. I don't that know what means. that means, Colleen. Maybe uh, they want to know how did you get Deep South Homestead? Uh, Danny was looking through the... Uh, Almanac, and uh, we were actually on Facebook. We were Bluebird Farm, 
And as we were thinking of a handle for talking so much, so that stuff just going by here. Let me see here. Well, you stop it and you can do it in a minute. Okay. And uh, so he was looking through, and in the almanac it said Deep South. And Danny says, "Hey, I like Deep South Homestead." And so that's how it that's got how started. it come about. Okay, Chandra. I didn't pull my shirt up too high. Actenberg, did I say that right? Octon, uh, Something like that. Okay. Oh, anyway. Do the Vigo beds not radiate too much heat? I figured in the south, we get so hot that they would fry the plants. Actually, it's actually the material that they're made out of and the paint that they're made out of. The interior parts of them are white, which ra uh, actually they reflect heat away from them. And they're not a dark color. I mean, you can get them in a dark color. I don't advise that in the deep south. Uh, ours is, uh, what's it, olive drab? Something like that? Yeah. And also, they're not aluminum a lot no. of people were freaking out saying y'all got aluminum ours have, is no. not aluminum now a lot of the other beds i went and checked out a lot of the other beds a lot and, of them have uh, aluminum alloys in it this one does it's not called have something alum aluma something ours is steel um and as far as i can i mean i researched and researched i could not find anything that said ours had any type of aluminum in this bed at all Okay. So maybe that'll answer your question. Catwoman sixty three. I love Catwoman sixty three. When I was a oh Catwoman was when I was a little when, when I was we a little kids. boy, you had Batman and Catwoman, yep. and and everybody loved Catwoman, you know. But uh, anyway, she says any tips on growing celery? My stalks are not very big. Usually, anytime you're growing any kind of winter crop like that, uh, or cool weather, should I say? Uh, whether it be celery, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, whatever it is, usually anytime you're growing anything like that, it's just a lack of fertilization on those things because most people try to go organic, and organic is a bust when it comes to fertilizing something and making it happen fast. Uh, you know I've told people organic up front, you get 8% up front, and the rest of it breaks down over a four-month period. Yeah. Um Oh, it jumped. <laughs> it jumped on me there. Hold on. Let me go back. Uh, <clears throat> can I plant my blueberries in a container? That's Phyllis. Phyllis, uh, yes, you can, Phyllis, but it will only get so big. You'll have to keep it pruned back, and it will do okay. I would suggest if you plant a blueberry in a container that you look for a dwarf variety. They do make one called, uh, there's one called Biloxi Blueberry. Um it is a dwarf variety that does good in containers. Okay, when uh, Aaron wants to know when do I plant my Cherokee tan pumpkin, pumpkin seed in, in Hickory, Hickory Mississippi, Mississippi, along I twenty. Okay, you're about two hours north of us, so I've been to Hickory many times. Oh, uh, it's your hand doing that. Yeah, I, Danny was uh, moving stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I've been to Hickory several times. Uh, up there, you're just north of Union, up that way. You can hit twenty going back towards Jackson. Uh, Nostra. Uh, uh, hold on, I ain't answered him. Considered to be in the um, lower 48. <laughs> you can plant your Cherokee tan pumpkins after the danger of all frost has passed. And I'm going to say probably mid-March. And I'll be honest with you about what I'm fixing to say now. <laughs> Me and Wanda has planted Cherokee tan pumpkins early for years. They never make until late summer and going into fall. Yep. Every time. So you they... might as well wait till about May. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. All right. Um... Diane Lyon says, the more you bless others, the more goodwill, or God, I think is what she meant, will give and bless you with others. Um, we do believe in that. We believe in giving. Uh, you can't out give the Lord. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've been canning see. for a couple of years. This is Dean, and I just went to unload canner, and two jars bottoms blew off. Still plenty of water. Careful not to change pressure too fast. Some of these jars will well, do Well, there's one thing. First of all, do you have anything in the bottom of your canner for your jars to sit on? Yes. That's number one. If you don't have the thing in the bottom of it to sit on, that will bust them a lot. If the pressure goes too high for too long... Mm -hmm. Uh, it will do it. Sometimes and if you tighten the lid too tight, it will blow the bottom And off if of you, like years ago, I used mayonnaise jars. That was not something yes. that, I didn't know you didn't supposed to. And I had the bottoms of mayonnaise jars come out. But if your jars, you reuse jars over and over and over, after about 10, 12 years, you might have some pop out. So it's according to how old your jars are too. 
Okay, this is Prep for Eternity. This is Mr. Donnie and him. says, Danny, can you explain the best material to use for board and batten? Well, Mr. Donnie, uh, in my experience now, depends on where you live at in the country, and I know about where you live at, um, you can use poplar. If you get number one poplar, is a really good choice just be careful of way the way the grain is turned on it uh, because poplar will cup one particular way more so than the other way uh, what i would suggest doing if you went with poplar or any other lumber cypress is really good too now if, you, if there's cypress where you're living at cypress to me would be number one poplar would be number two uh, that i would use but cypress is very very expensive but if you can get heart cypress, it will last for many, 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 many years with no problems whatsoever. Meet the world says, I'm in Rankin County, Mississippi. How early will tomatoes survive outdoors? You're in Rankin County. You are about two hours north of us also, just outside of I-20 there. Uh, let's see. Probably, I would be, I would be willing to say mid-March you should be okay with tomatoes outdoors. All right. The real McCoy. Danny, is rabbit poop or chicken poop good for fertilizing vegetables? Rabbit poop is fantastic because it's called a cold manure. It will not burn anything. Chicken manure will burn anything it gets on except corn. Now, if you have a field of corn and you get it, it gets up about waist high and you can go down through the middle of the rows and sprinkle it between the rows of the corn, you can use it fresh that way. Otherwise... Chicken poop needs to be composted and covered with something. Now, if you compost chicken poop and you just leave it out where the sun hits it, it'll pull every other nitrogen out of it. And you'll be, it's virtually almost. It's poop. It's just poop. It's no good, <laughs> you know. You might get some benefits from it, but you're not going to get a lot from it. So cover it up, compost it for about six months to a year, and it will see, it'll, it will be superb but rabbit poop's the best. rabbit poop is actually the best and you can use it anytime you can use it right on anything you can use it on any leafy greens i mean it's not going to you're not going to hurt anything by using rabbit poop you're not going to burn up any little plants nothing like that all right nancy wants to know do y'all or mr mickey have a video explaining how to make and position the large electroculture rods for large gardens Ugh, uh did you... we don't have a video for the large ones but there's a lot of videos online. I'm trying to think of the man's name. It just left my mind. Uh, uh, he does a lot of the large ones. Oh, man. Just Google electroculture. Um, turn of the century electroculture. And, yeah. and his name should come up. And he has a lot of videos out there. There's a young guy doing this now that tells a lot about the. the uh, I don't know their names. I, I, I don't. I've only watched them once or Ooh, twice. That's sticky right there. Um, yeah, something's got on it. Uh, but I don't have a video, and I don't think Mickey does either. Not on the large. ones. Not on so. the large ones. You might have. Did you show how you made that one I'm, over at I Pecan have, Grove? I have made them at Pecan Grove using a... But we uh, might have put it on Deep South because I swapped back and forth last it, year. It with could gardening. be. But I, I, made, I made the tall ones about six feet tall. And explained everything. And I explained, yeah, I explained how I'd done it. But um, you'd have to find it. It's in the gardening videos from last year on one of the other channel. And I, did, I couldn't tell you. That's why I got so confused last year. <laughs> I thought I put stuff on Pecan Grove. And I'd go look, and it'd be on Deep South. And then I'd think i put it on Deep South, and it'd be on Pecan Grove. Yeah. It just got too crazy okay. last year, and I had to split and just keep the two places separate. East Texas Living says, what do you feed your rabbits? Uh, well, I've been feeding them some carrot tops here lately. I've been thinning out the carrots. Uh, we, loving it. I cut fruit tree limbs off, just limbs off of bushes. We give them some ryegrass the other day. They get a little feed here and there, but we, we raise the, the Tamuk rabbits, and they, they don't eat a lot. All right, prayer 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 warrior. warrior. What about rabbit urine, and how do you use it? Uh, we have a separate catchment system. Our rabbits pee in a separate thing, and uh, we catch the urine. Of course, it dries now as it sits We're in this gonna container. We're going to be showing tomorrow in that tour on the barn tomorrow that I don't know what you have scheduled when. It I don't wasn't know. a tour today from a year ago. Of the yeah, barn. today's was a year ago. 
So tomorrow on Pecan Grove, we will show Danny's move the rabbits to Pecan Grove. So tomorrow, okay, we'll show the update of the rabbits with the the system and how he's got it done. Anyway, the urine dries in my containers, and then I when I wash them with full of water, then I then I pour the the stuff out in a bucket, and you can pour it right around the plants. It does not hurt them. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, to muck. To muck. Yeah. That's a, that's a, uh, T, how do you spell T A M U K. To muck. T A M U K. That's yeah, right. They, T A they were, M U K. If I'm not mistake, mistaken, Texas A and M created those rabbits or, or bred them up. I can't uh, something like that. I can't remember who. Um, Tom A. says, I'm afraid that rabbit feed will have the same grazon problem. And it's possible if you feed them alfalfa, because alfalfa is now Roundup ready in a lot of places. You, you, do, have to be, uh, you do have to be careful. All right, so... Um, okay, here it is. D. Foley. Danny, it is garden like a Viking for electrical... Oh, she's asking a question. Okay, they're asking a question. Is it, is it garden? garden like a Viking? I... I don't remember. Uh, I'm not lying. That doesn't I don't sound familiar. Doesn't sound familiar. Uh, Tammy's asking for prayers. She said the Lord knows about it, so we'll try and remember okay. Tammy at the end in her prayers. Texas A&M, yes, that was it. Um, how many rabbits do you have, and what type? Uh, well, I just told I have the Tamuk, Mr. Ferguson. Uh, I have three. I have two females and one male. They're not. We do not breed them. They're not for eating or anything like that. They're strictly for producing fertilizer for our high tunnels and our containers and stuff like that. What type honeybees do we have? We don't have. We don't have honeybees here. We uh, used to. I, we, we used to, but we don't anymore, uh, Mr. Sandman. Uh, it's, honey is so prevalent around us right here. There's a hundred boxes down the road right here. I mean, we can get honey. Just about any time we need honey. All right. Miss Patty from uh, Southern Blessed Homestead said, do you have to separate the urine from the poop to use on the garden? No. No, no, you don't have to. We just do it because I store my poop uh, in these big, huge mineral tubs, and if it's all wet and nasty when I put it in there, then it just molds and worms get all in it and everything, and it stinks horrible. So I, I have a separate system. You'll see this in the video where the urine is separate from the the poop. It's like when they go to the bathroom, it, it separates itself. But when I had the rabbits originally, not the Tamuk, but I had a different, well, I don't even remember what kind, several years ago. You had the New Zealand whites. Yeah. Yeah. I just had the totes, and it, it, it was heavy because you had the pee and the poop all together, and I had to take those totes out and dump it around my fruit trees and stuff like that, and it's heavy. When you separate and have the poop on top and the yeah. pee in the bottom. The poop stays dry and fluffy. It won't. Yeah. It's not heavy, and the pee will dry throughout the day if they don't pee too much. And we just have one rabbit per each cage. Yeah. So it it's not a lot. Uh, Jeannie Greer says, "Where do you get rabbits? I'm thinking of something I should be doing for my garden." Actually, ours came from a subscribers. I'm not going to give you their names, but um, uh, they live up in central Mississippi. Uh, they actually brought them to us because they, they're friends of ours. They delivered them down here. And uh, I think that uh, we we made a wise decision because they these rabbits are just... One of them's a little ornery now, I'm not going to lie. One of them's ornery. But the other two, good as gold. Especially the male. The male They'll know after they have watched tomorrow's video on, oh yeah. on Pecan Grove. Yeah, just watch the video tomorrow on Pecan Grove. Go over and subscribe so you don't forget... And then when it notifies you, if if it does, I mean, uh, hit the notification bell, and you'll be able to see what we're talking about. We've actually revamped the barn. We're not through with it. We're working on it, but we have made some changes. All right. Miss Starla says, any thoughts on an April Fool's Day prank ah. video like canning dehydrated water? He has not done ah, another April Fool's I have not since. done another one since. I'm and if sure y'all don't know what we're talking about, we have uh, called canning dehydrated canning dehydrated water. I actually canned dehydrated yeah. water. Yeah. I actually, re actually canned it and uh, reused it. Yeah. Uh, Let me see here. All right. Oh, let's see here. 
Everyone likes to get a bunny. Of course, they do like to eat, sleep, and poop. Yes. Yes. These are these are good. Oh, Danny's been, I guess he's had them in the farm all barn almost two oh, years. Oh gosh, yeah, I've had them in the farm all barn. I have, yeah, for pretty long. close to two years. Yeah, I thought the one of them got kind of ornery on her when I moved her though, boy. She got a little. She tick. stayed in her box. She stayed for in her a box. While. We didn't come out. Almost I mean, twenty four hours. She, yeah. She obviously got out when we weren't paying any attention because her food and stuff would be gone. Yeah. But if we walked in the the barn, that she just she stayed she'd hide up in her box. Yeah. And uh, but now she's out. Yesterday and today, I think we saw she was out. Do we use chicken poo chaps? I don't even know what. That I don't is. even know what that is. That sounds like. Um, that sounds like that's just ludicrous. Yeah, um, you would be surprised how many earthquakes there are every day. Check on your weather station under the earthquakes. It's amazing. Yeah, there well, is. Well, we have a connection when it comes to earthquakes, so we know about almost every earthquake. I mean, really, it's not. Just they're everywhere. They're uh, everywhere. I mean, even the little tiny ones. Most people don't even know exist. Is we we're familiar with all of them. All right. Um, how to dehydrate water and can it safely? That's what it's called. Yeah. Miss Allen, Allison, Allison put Pan. the link in. You see now, now there we are. We got Tammy Corbin says I watched Pecan Grove. I hope I'm reading this right. More than Deep South lately. Uh, that's because we put most of the. That's because all the videos are going over here. And actually, thank you because that's what we're trying to get people over, because we're going to be doing most of the gardening. Now, over here. porch time and uh, the live stream will stay on yes, Deep South. Yes, still be on Deep South. But, and some some videos, whatever, if we're doing things at Deep South, I will show y'all. But we have been spending so much time at Pecan Grove Ooh, with the gardening. We have. Especially since I got better. Um, there was about four months I didn't do hardly anything. Yeah, it's a... Um, uh, but since I feel better, I want to I plant. So I have a tomato plant that's about, what... It's a little cherry tomato. I've had it three it's, weeks now. Yeah. It's still pretty green. It's if it makes it good. through this 28 and 29 degree weather, we'll be doing good. You want to tell them I just went outside? She did. Just after dark, and she went out and covered it up. Covered I, it up because yep. I didn't want it to freeze. Now, Danny's been taking care of the stuff in the high tunnel at uh, Pecan Grove. Yes. He covers all that stuff at late in the evening make sure everything's covered up but i we, do we've been planting in there even though we ain't finished the high tunnel or danny ain't finished the high tunnel. yeah i still got a ways to go there's only one of me and i can only do so much you know I yeah mean, we're gonna uh i'm 60 i'm in my mid 60s and i still do more than most teenagers and 20 something and 30 something he's fixing to be paint well i guess i'll probably be painting boards and then he's got to put up the um what is that called hardware cloth uh yes and then you what else you got to do before we put the plastic on oh wiggle wire wiggle wire track so he's got oh. another little ways okay i see this charles and, Ma charles mcculloch here I, I try to when i can see something i try danny i'm thinking of getting a gear driven tiller for my tractor but was told that it could damage my pto if it were if i were to use it on new ground and hit a hard spot or a rock gave you any or have you had any problems uh i would not get a chain driven one i'm just going to be honest with you i would stay away from chain driven ones uh a gear driven one i've been using mine in new ground i hit stumps roots everything else now i'm running a kubota i don't know what you're running but uh i haven't had any problems whatsoever i mean y'all watch my videos of track co cleaned up a field and i went in there and got tilled right behind him and then me and wanda and Got out and picked up sticks and roots out of the ground and throwed them out to the side and I'd till it again and pick them up. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, gear driven is the only way. Now it doesn't matter whether you do counterclockwise. I mean, I, mine. Let me see which way mine is. Mine is uh, <laughs> mine's clockwise. Mine's not counterclockwise. Mine is clockwise. Okay, so uh, Ann wants to know when do you plant sweet potato slips? Wanda's already planted some. I Mama's planted done. this week. Yep, yep, yep. But Danny hadn't planted his. No, I have not put mine in the ground. When yep. will you do yours? This is the end of February. I got to have time. He's procrastinating. I just so don't have time. So I put some time. in the ground because I'm going to do the high tunnel at, at Deep South. It's all my high tunnel. Yeah. My queen dome is going to be a sweet potato haven this year. 
He thinks I'm crazy, but it's going to be sweet. Well, no, we actually talk about doing mine that way, too. He's finally coming around. Um, <laughs> because the problem is over at Pecan Grove, I don't have anywhere cleared up to plant. We just went off. Okay, we back on. Yeah, probably the weather. Um, well, we do have a lot to go. Uh, and our deal for keeping fresh vegetables for most of the year is we just choose varieties. And it's all about timing with any vegetable anyway. So we try to plant based on insect cycles. We try to, when we can, we plant based on the moon. Uh, you know, we just, we try to work it out where some things are coming in all the time. Uh, it's a little hard to explain. It's 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 not the same every year. A lot of it depends on the weather and circumstances, uh, life events. You know, whatever's going on. Uh, how's the you know how's the insect population affecting us? How how is the weather? This year we know that if we don't have stuff in by mid March. It, there's a, there is a possibility that we will not be able to grow a lot because of the heat and the drought. Um, so, yeah, I planned my uh, sweet potato. Somebody asked last week in my high tunnel. I just took a small spot and planted them for slips, and I'll take the slips and I'll go around and do. The, it's not planted for potatoes yet. It's only the few potatoes for slips. That's yeah. all I planted. Yeah. So I haven't gotten slips yet. I will show y'all when I do. I, it'll be on Deep South, and we will show that. What's a good company to order a pecan tree? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there is a good company. Now, it used to be Bass Pecan Company. It used to be one of the best, but I don't know if Bass Pecan Company even sells and ships pecan trees anymore. Yeah, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know, uh, to be honest with you. All right, so um, what else? Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. When is the best time to plant strawberry seeds? I have no idea, Joan. Uh, we just plant strawberries. We just plant strawberries. I mean, we don't, planting seeds to us don't exist. Uh, Danny showed on Pecan Grove, step-by-step, -step, planting strawberries. And on Pecan Grove, we got the Vego or Vigo beds. I think they say Vego. Ve Vego. It's like, remember the car Vega? The, Vego. Like the Vega car? Vego. It's Vego. Yeah, I think it's Vego. Vego. And uh, we got these raised beds. And Danny shows step by step how he made the dirt or created the soil. People got on to me for saying dirt. But it's dirt. I mean, plain and simple. We had a load of dirt put out here and then he added stuff to it and we put it in the beds and he shows step by step and I did a playlist on creating soil I think is what it's called or something like that on pecan grove so that every time we add something to that soil we'll show y'all it'll be a where you can find it okay pecan trees take forever to grow yes they do they do they take a long time Chris Thrapp says Danny are you going to raise a hog to replenish your bacon supply? If I can ever get a hog pen built, yes. It's just infrastructure. We got to have infrastructure. Okay. Uh, somebody said, do we have any medicinal plants over? Oh, at, we have medicinal plants everywhere. <laughs> at Pecan Grove, we have 42 acres of medicinal plants. Yeah. Uh, here at Deep South, we have almost any type herb you can imagine. But our main is garlic. Um, I have sage, rosemary. We got. We, we just got a large. They're assortment. culinary plus medicinal. Yarrow. Okay. Oh, will be cool. Says Bass Pecan Nursery is still selling. Okay, so check out Good. Bass. Okay. Yeah. Um, in the deep south, nobody says the word soil. If you go into a place and ask anybody, say you got any soil for sale, they look at you like. What? Or, or if you go in there and say, I'm cultivating today. And they look at you and go, <laughs> what? It's plowing. In the deep south, you plow. You know, and it's dirt. <laughs> when, when we say soil, 
Lots of times we think people of the think bag of, stuff. People think you're talking about pot and soil. Now, if, if he was to call his friend and say, I need a load of, of dirt brought out here, he said, I'm planting garden. Well, he, no, if I you would call I need, it topsoil. I would have to say I need topsoil because we have clay gravel, we have yeah. sandy gravel, we have sand. You would have, have to sand. say soil there. I would have to say Because they wouldn't know soil. the difference in the yes. dirt. But when we say we're going to plant, usually it's in the dirt. Lots yeah. of times when we were growing up, it was dirt. Now everybody wants you to say soil. And it's so, and that word is hard for me to say. I want to say, it sounds like you're soil in your diaper. I mean, yeah. that to me, it just don't sound right for my dirt. Um, Betty said, my yarrow did not sprout from seeds. Any secrets, please? Uh, Danny uh, had it when oh, I moved there and it's taken over the yard. <laughs> yarrow has taken our place over. Uh which is not a bad thing, you know what I mean, but it does I'm have... I'm going to move some to uh, Pecan we're gonna, Grove. We're going to fence off an area over here, hopefully, and put some in it. But uh, we don't ever start anything from seeds like that because it's kind of about like um, starting a lot of your herbs from seeds. They're really, really finicky, and it's really difficult. You have to have them under ideal growing conditions. Uh, honey here is probably what... Twelve, fifteen dollars a quart. Uh, I'm paying twelve dollars a quart. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, it's all dirt to me. Some is better for some things than others. That's that's the way we look at it. It's yeah. according to what kind of dirt you want, and you have to specify here. You got to because specify. we got too many kinds of dirt. Uh, I love the expression dirt. That's what I say here yeah, in Ontario, Canada. Canada. So it's not just a deep south. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a, I mean, you know, you, when you see people has to have, that have to use the word soil, it's people that are politically correct. I mean, they, yeah, they, and, and you know, and it's not their fault. Computers has done this to us. Uh, because when you go to type something in, if you're not typing in exactly the right stuff, uh, and then school has done that to us too. Mm -hmm. Um, teaching kids that everything has to be politically correct or you'll hurt somebody's feelings, you know. Uh, the heck with people's feelings. I could care less. I mean... All right. Next, it wants to know, do I ever make tinctures? I used to. She used to. I use... I, I just like to have things out in the yard. I like to have my herbs handy if I need them. I don't want to have to keep tinctures because I found years ago when I was making tinctures, I would make up all kinds of tinctures and put them on the cabinet and we would not need them for the most part because Danny and I aren't ever sick. And back then I had kids and I found that it was easier for me to have either powdered herbs or dried herbs or have it fresh outside. And I made things as needed instead of trying to keep tinctures on hand because you waste a lot of time and you throw a lot away if you don't need them all the time. And who's sick 24-7? Okay, Terrence says, if sweet potatoes are showing slip starts on them, are they bad to eat or can you cut them off and still eat them? Now, you can cut them off up to a certain point and still eat them, but if you let them go too long, then the potato gets to be, uh, what do you call it, pippy or... Yeah, it's, it's kind it's of pippy kind of and, and the soft. inside's real, like, airy. It yeah. has holes all in it. You don't want to eat don't, you that. Don't eat it that. don't taste right. Jay Robinson says, any idea why my Meyer lemons are turning yellow and falling off? Well, it could be the time of year it is. I mean, they do fall off in the fall and the winter. They turn yellow. It could be a lack of nitrogen. Uh, that that plays a part, too. Uh, usually, it's one of those two things with the lemon tree. Let's see here. Where are we at? Right here? Yeah, roll it on down. How long will garlic last in... Uh, Apple, cider, apple vinegar. cider vinegar. I don't know. We don't put garlic in apple cider vinegar, Susie Q. I drink the apple cider vinegar every day of my life. So, Do you put vermiculite in your garden beds? Yes. Uh, we have a video on that. At Pastor Pecan Scott. Grove. At Pecan Grove, Pastor Scott. We got a video on that. I show everything I put in my garden beds here. How do I store my Meyer lemons? I took and sliced them, and um, I froze just halves or quarters of lemons um, every time we have them. Or this past year, since Chris brought me a lot of lemons, I mean Ooh, a lot yeah, of lemons. That's what I'm drinking now. Buckets lemon, of lemon water. Yeah, which reminds me, I gotta have some water. I had to um, cut the lemons and squeeze them, and I hand squeeze everything. 
because I don't want all the uh, seeds over <laughs> in it. So I hand squeezed and filtered out the, the seeds, but left the pith for the most part. And I put it in these little jars and froze them. And so when I want lemon juice or whatever, I take the little jars out. I've got one in my fridge now that is, um, I thawed it out. And I just pour th two or three tablespoons of lemon juice in here and add my water. And so I have lemon water. I have enough lemon juice to last me at least a year. A year. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, now this, It's Me says this, don't forget to choose local honey. Now, there's a lot of wisdom in that because if you have allergies and stuff like that and you're trying to use something natural to fight your allergies and you're getting honey, honey from a grocery store that come from the Midwest or somewhere, it's not going to do you any good at all. Mainly because it's done been run through a heat cycle, but secondly... Because it's not local honey from your area. All right, Carrie wants to know why and how do you drink apple cider vinegar every day? Why? Because it's healthy, first of all. Uh, I don't have a gallbladder, and I don't have any bile acids in my stomach, and my hydrochloric acid in my stomach doesn't break my food down like it's supposed to. So by drinking the apple cider vinegar, it... Uh, puts that hydrochloric acid back in there because I drank the type with the mother in it. Now, don't just drink apple cider vinegar. Just got to have the one with the mother in it. By, Bragg's. By Bragg's. Yeah. And there's others out there, but Bragg's is the one I use. And how do I do it? I put a teaspoon or a tablespoon in a, like a coffee cup, and I fill it full of water and just, I drink it. Okay. Chris said, Danny, how are you preparing for another summer like of heat like last year we are planting early this year we're trying to do everything as early as we can and i'm using a lot more i'm using a lot more uh, ground cover shade cloths and everything that i can this year and to help break the heat mm -hmm. as much as possible and, and we're planting it more in containers and raised beds so yeah. that we can i know that gets at some places it won't take as much water when we right. plant in the ground, it takes so much water because we have You can't water long... enough in the ground. Yeah. And here in the Deep South, we're used to it raining enough that we don't ever water plants in the garden. But now, last year taught us a lesson. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't water. You, you... I mean, as much Danny corn as he had, he even tried watering a time or two. And it, I tried it. It just was not working. Well, we had a well put in here at uh, or over at Pecan Grove. And it was a four-inch well, and the guy told me, he said, look, in order for this thing, you need to let it run for 24 hours nonstop. So I just ran a, it looked like about 500 foot of water hose across the field, and I just put it to the corn field, the Danny corn, and I just turned it on and let it run all night and all, most of the next day, and flooded that whole field in the middle of summer. Of course, within a couple of hours after I turned it off, it was gone, but, um, but yeah. When are you planting your Danny corn this year? Uh, in a video I said here the other day, I told in one of our videos that I'd be planting it the first weekend in March if the weather holds true to what I've been told. If not, it might be a little later. The ads are taking away 20 to 30 seconds of the live every 10 minutes or so. Y'all, I do not know how to get out of those ads. They do it automatically, and it, and I've tried to find a way, and I've had others trying to find a way to not have the ads until after the live stream, but they seem to, you know, I can't do anything well, about that. Well, it's another way of uh, discouraging. discouraging people from watching us. Is You know, everybody goes, oh, they're money hungry, putting all these ads. It has nothing to do with that. I'm not a money hungry person. I, as a matter of fact, I don't even, I, I, I draw social security, okay? <laughs> I can't have... <laughs> I can't have a big income, you know? But so, the deal is, um, even when this goes uh, post after it's live and it just posts as a video, they throw like 25 to 30 video uh, ads in it. And I usually go to bed. I don't check it until sometime tomorrow see, when everybody goes to... Lots goes of people are saying they haven't had an ad at all. Yeah. Well... I, I, maybe I'll it's... get told tomorrow that we've got 25 ads in our thing, and I usually go and take most, you know, a good many of them out. And so, and then somebody complained because there's eight or ten in well, Let me put it to you half. this way. 
We lose money no, no, when no, I take no, them no, out. No, no, let me put it to you this way. People watch, I, I don't, it don't bother me whether yeah. people complain or not. People watch TV. I don't watch TV, but used to when I did years ago, every few minutes there was an ad. Yep. Or a commercial, they called it. They didn't call it an ad. They called and it a commercial. five minutes of commercials. And they were like five minutes of commercials went by, and people sit there and look at them. Never complained a bit because you can't do nothing about it. YouTube's <laughs> the same way. You watch YouTube, you get an ad. I mean, you just Until live it says with it. skip. Yeah, I mean, you're not paying to watch it anyway. So, I... And YouTube yeah. Premium does get rid of ads, but you do have to pay. You do have for, to pay for Red Tube and stuff like yeah. that if you want YouTube Premium. And but see, a you, lot of them aren't getting ads, so that's really good. Yeah. I don't know why some people are and some don't. I Somebody, just, um, Monkey Farm Garden, wants to know, why did you have to run the well for 24 hours? Anytime you put a new well in, you have to run it for 24 hours, well, no matter what kind of well it is. Because it's got to develop itself. There's little fine sand particles and all that stuff that gets in it. You have to pump all that stuff out of there in order for the big granular. Unless you understand wells. This might, I'm probably talking over everybody's head. But unless you understand it, they, there's large grains of sand that has to get against the screen. The screen has certain size cuts in it. And most of them are, I forget, 8 to 12 thousandths or something like that. And you want that size sand particle to bank up against it so the water flows freely through it and the little small ones are pumped out of it so you don't get sand in your water okay miss allison said she has the laptop and her cell phone going no ads on the laptop but a lot on the cell phone so that might make a difference that might make a difference yes. if you're on a laptop you might not get the ads if you're on a cell phone the ads just gonna keep popping i, I don't know what else to tell y'all i don't um ABC XYZ said, so that's what I hated about TV. I don't watch it anymore. Same with me. Of course, there's nothing on TV to watch. It's all propaganda, but uh, it's just brainwashing. That's what it is called. Tell a vision. I mean, think about what you tell a vision to someone and try to convince them to, you know, to live a particular way or listen to them. And the news is the Ooh. worst thing in the world you can ever listen to. But uh, I, commercials was just crazy we had a hurricane here a while back and me and Wanda tried to watch it because our internet went out to see where the hurricane was and I had to turn the darn thing off because it was every ad was a pharmaceutical drug and I told her I says I am not sitting here watching this stupid stuff and we just turned it off raw food writer yes I can see your your uh, post so yeah you are okay yeah you're all right we've answered you several times I think um Said thank you, uh, Monkey Food Garden. Said thank you about the well. They're looking to drill one soon. All right. <coughs> okay. And they're telling about ads. Uh, how do I get rid of moles and voles without using poison? Castor beans. Castor beans get Ken. Uh, castor beans, or there's a stuff called uh, what's that stuff in my shop over there called mole away or something like that something like that anyway uh but castor beans it gets rid of moles really really good now the castor bean is poison and toxin you know so make sure you don't have kids around to pick them up and swallow them or something but uh but you can buy you know that's the that's Ooh. the most natural way to get rid of them that i know of uh, other than people say you can put juicy fruit chewing gum down yeah. in their <laughs> hole and that clogs them up they could say you can use uh flour and uh is it bacon soda? Yeah, flour and bacon soda mixed up in a powder and put down in there, and they will eat it and it cleans them or clogs them up or makes plaster of Paris or something. I forget what it is. But, All right, uh, so somebody wants to know, do you use the cabin as a hurricane shelter? It seems sturdy. No. No. We have an underground we facility. We have an underground facility. Danny built that. There's a Somewhere there's a video on the underground facility. Somewhere we have know. one. I don't know where it's at. I don't know if it's how to build a cellar. Yeah, uh, we it is. It's, it's, or, it's called building a cellar. Or yeah. something to do with the cellar or underground living facilities. I don't know. You have remember. to. I don't know what the. You can type in Deep South Homestead cellar or living facility underground living facilities. Uh, I don't forgot how it's worded. Um, People want to know: Do we grow the castor plant? No, we do not, Patty. We do not grow the castor no. plant. Um. Uh, 
Let's see. Where are we at? Anyone ever heard of cranberry beans? Yes. Uh, they're kind of a red bean that you plant. Uh, I don't think we've ever planted, but I think somebody has sent us some one time. Yeah. How about coffee grounds in mole holes? I've never heard of that being used. There's lots of things that don't like coffee. And I have used coffee grounds in my high tunnel before. Uh, the only problem is if they, when coffee get, grounds get damp, they mold. Yes. And if I put them in my high tunnel and I just sprinkle them around a plant, in the high tunnel there's a lot of moisture. Especially in the deep south. It may not be everywhere, but in the deep south there is. And so I found that my uh, coffee grounds wanted okay. to mold. Sandy Hellman says they put castor oil in Hershey's chocolate. Well, my thing is, Ooh. if you put castor oil in Hershey's chocolate, you end up with x lax <laughs> That's exactly what she's describing. <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, that's that's exactly what that is. Danny and I grew up with those little we, chocolate tablets called x lax We grew up with that. Um, you know, you didn't complain with a stomach ache at my house, because if you did, if one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to get... Castor oil, or are you going to get an enema? X-lax. Or they got x lax We got, got enemas. X-lax. My mama believed in that. The chocolate flavored. <laughs> Whew, it was I'd terrible. I'd forgotten about that, but yeah. My mama kept a little box of chocolate flavored stuff. Yep. Are you going to put an underground facility at Pecan Grove? Uh, probably not. Probably not. What kind of dirt would you use to plant an elderberry bush? The elderberry bush is like damp locations. So, you know, you'd want something that would stay kind of damp and hold a lot of moisture. Yeah. Okay. What, what, hold on. Ken Brown says, what's better, to grow bush beans or pole beans? It depends on where you live. We can't grow pole beans here anymore because of a freaking little critter called a kudzu bug. That thing will wrap itself up in our vines and, and they destroy your vines. And they're on there by the thousands. And you'd have to spray them with a chemical to get rid of them. And we don't use no chemicals, so we just plant the bush beans and not worry about it. I hate it because I don't like to get on the ground to pick. But we like the rattlesnake beans. They love did them. wonderful for three or four years till they those bugs hit. Uh, Jeff, I would love a banana split right about now. That sounds great. But yesterday I did get a. It's called a blonde latte, at Southern Turnings here in Wiggins, and uh, also a king cake is a little piece i thought it was more like a, a cinnamon bun with some icing and sprinkles on top yeah <laughs> but I, actually southern turnings did a great job and the blonde latte was amazing yeah we were at a lawyer well no, was, we was at a realtor was at a realtor was at a realtor's yeah, office a realtor and Miss Wanda saw that shop next door, and I know when she sees that, I'm like, you just go ahead. I'm going in the realtor's office. Well, the office. realtor had offered coffee the he day did. before, and he did. Uh, it was good coffee. I can't say nothing. It was good man coffee. You know, the stuff Man that you, coffee. What you do, you take you the can pot. Stick, you can stand a spoon <laughs> up in it and probably stand there, you know? It, you take the pot, you pour it, you put a little bit of uh, powdered cream in it, and a couple of spoonfuls or so of sugar and so and stomach it yeah and it was good i can't complain his co i told him his coffee was good but yesterday when we went back i was like okay y'all i'll talk to y'all later i'm going to southern turnings and danny knew what i, I was I going knew exactly <laughs> what it was and i had to apologize to the realtor i said and he says oh no i go over there yeah. <laughs> he's right next door uh so uh -huh. it was funny uh I'm surprised the couple that was with us didn't go get one too. At least she she didn't. But I mean, she poured her cup full. I mean, yeah. Yeah, she did drink his man coffee. Uh, um, how do you get rid of blister bugs? I we don't have a problem with them. Uh, so, military coffee. That uh, sounds more cowboy coffee. Yep. Yep, that's it. Cowboy and military. Oh. Uh, uh, sugar peas. We grow English peas. Yeah, we grow which, English uh, peas, not the sugar snaps. What is it called? Uh, little I don't marble. Want my, I don't want the fire. You want me to go, go fix it? Yeah, put a piece of wood in it because I don't want to lose my coals tonight because it's going to get down in the 20s. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miley Mason says, more honey for me and less sugar. Yeah, we. I do my cane syrup and I do a little bit of honey because uh, Wanda does some honey. I think that uh, 
that's probably our best way to go. We try to stay away from granulated sugar as much as we can. And if we do have to use granulated sugar, we try to use pure cane sugar that is not from genetically modified cane. Organic. We try to use the organic cane sugar. Uh, Give me your water. No. Huh? My water's full. Oh, I thought you said I need water. I thought I need a fire. Uh, no, well, I, I thought you said no, no, you no, no, no. needed I, water. I did need water because my throat was getting dry, but I have water in my thing. Oh, okay. I was going to get you some water. Never mm -hmm. mind. See, men and women don't think alike. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. Here in Louisiana, king cakes are stuffed with barbarian cream or pecan pralines with cream or blueberry. I wanted blueberry and cream cheese, but now these were little bitty... I, it was almost like a cinnamon roll. It's like roll. a cinnamon roll. And she heated it up and she put icing and then she put sprinkles on top. That ain't a king cake. That's a cinnamon roll with icing and, you know. But that's what they call king cake. <laughs> yeah, Stacy Wise, Wiseheart said, Do you have columnar apples anymore? I think I remember you having them. Mm -hmm. We had one at, oh, here we at Deep it South. The other day and still we took it over to Pecan Grove and Ms. Wanda slathered it down with uh, bone, sauce. bone sauce almost from one end to the other rather than just putting a little dab on it. She just covered the whole tree, you know. <laughs> and it's still green, but it ain't doing as good it as it should. It didn't look as good last year, but it, it's coming back out. Yeah. I have faith in it. And I won't it's, use the bone sauce on the trees anymore. I'll put it on. Cloth or cloth something. Cloth or a stick sticking yeah. beside or something because it literally destroyed the bark on the tree. Um, Juan Perez, thank you for being here tonight. Um, let's see here. Uh, I doing? use raw honey in my tea, Ann says. Yes. Um, That's usually what I put in tea. Um, let's see here. Isabel just Isabel says, Donnie, are you here? Uh, Brother Donnie was. He was here. Now, whether he's still here, I don't know. Uh, All right. Uh, so, so would love some t-shirts also. Well, the t-shirts I was ordering were mine. Yeah, those but are. I might do uh, um, somebody, uh, they can get their own t-shirt and they can choose their own brand from. This is called Love in Faith. Love I-N. Love in Faith. And um, I've ordered from them before, and all my t-shirts are getting kind of jaggedy looking because I hadn't ordered any in several months, and I wear them all the time. And Danny knows I spill stuff every time I cook and everything else. Yeah. So I needed some new t-shirts, so I ordered some. Oh, let's see here now. Ken, Ken Brown says, I learned how to cook oatmeal, and it's great with raisins and honey. Yeah. I eat oatmeal... Probably Just five about. to six days out of every week. And I've gotten and to I, eating it at least three to four. I put blueberries. We, we have our blueberries here. I put fresh blueberries in it or frozen blueberries in it. And my cane syrup is what I sweeten it with. Uh, I cook that every morning. And I about. use maple and syrup. Miss Wanda uses her maple syrup on that. And a little now. bit of butter. Yeah, well, I like, I like a little butter in mine, too. And uh, Mr. Barrett brought us some homemade butter yesterday. Daddy did, yes. And some yeah. homemade, and not homemade milk. He may have brought no, some homemade milk. Well, it's all homemade. <laughs> but, uh, Mr. Donnie says, we here. Okay. Um, he brought us some cow's milk. That He milks his cows, and he brings us some every now and then. And he brought me some pineapple yogurt the other day. It was really good. And uh, But he brought me that butter, and I used it in our um, corn that we ate. Yeah. And I thought it was pretty good. And I probably put it in some oatmeal first thing in the morning. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. I saw somebody says they would like something, but I, it went somewhere and I don't know we where it We got a went. $5 thing up here. I don't know how it. Uh, uh, click on it and it'll tell you who. And I'm not, because I didn't see it either. And Philbeck, thank, thank you, you so much. We Ann. didn't mean to miss it, but. Didn't mean to miss it. it I just, just didn't see it when it popped up. I was probably up taking care of a fire. Um. When power goes down or solar event happens, what is the best plan to get from DSTKPG? Really curious. I guess they're saying from Deep South. Dallas, to, uh, from Deep South to, to Pecan, Pecan Grove. Grove. Walk, uh, ride, 
<laughs> Hopefully we'll be here if it happens, or be there if it happens. I mean, um, either place is equipped. Either, both places is so. Well, not Pecan Grove is not as equipped as Deep South no, is, but but it is. I've got it well it's, taken care of. Miss Wanda has been working I'm, on it. Let me I'm put it that working way. religiously to have both places taken care of, and if we're in route, either way. We will we have e We have, look, we have EMP shields. <laughs> we going to pray EMP shields for <laughs> uh, We have EMP shields on all of our tractors, rangers, trucks. All I can say is, if somebody gets in my way... Move. You're just going to have to move, because I'll carry a weapon with me. I'm hey, going to you be... You actually told somebody that the other day, didn't you? I did. We were somewhere the other day, and somebody said something... About? And I told him, I said, my vehicle out there has an EMP shield on it. I said, everything I have has it on it. I said, if I try to go home and somebody gets in my way, I will shoot you. You know what I mean? Just move out of my way or I'll run over you. Um, because I'm going home. And when I get home, I'm going to park my truck or my car and I'm not going to crank it up again. Yeah. Yeah, that, it was funny. He's like, y'all, I'm just telling people in Wiggins, get out of my way. That's it. I mean, that's it. Um, all right, what can I use to get my plants to develop fruit? I grew big green plants last year, but almost no fruit. Not growing any fruit. I mean, you can have, if you have big pretty plants and no fruit, it almost sounds like you have too much nitrogen. You know what I mean? That is usually one of the biggest things when you have too much nitrogen. It's just, uh, it's just, you know... You don't get no fruit. Uh, um, Purpose Prepper said, Love, prayers, blessings on you and Wanda. If summer is going to be hotter than last... Uh, than last... Flash droughts. Antier with flash droughts. Yes, we're going to be having uh, Purposeful Prepper. To, according to what they're telling me now, I'm hoping that they're wrong, but they're telling me that when the rain is over, it's going to be over. And it's going to turn off screaming hot. And that's what it did last and, and year. They told me that last year. It done it last year. I just didn't pay real good attention. Uh, but this year, they made a believer out of me last year. So this year, I'm trying to make preparations for it. Uh, <laughs> Melissa uh, said she agrees 100%. She has an EMP on her truck. Watch out. I'm going home. <laughs> that's it. I'm the same way. Get out of my way. Because at that point, if there's an EMP, there's not going to be any rule of law. Nobody's coming to pick you up, you know. Just get out the way. Yeah. Okay, so we're over our uh, time, but you oh, guys we are. Yeah. put up your prayer request. Uh, and let's let's see what all's going on. But um, Sula Dean, I believe you are correct. I believe we're starting in a cycle of lean years, like the seven years in the Bible of good and the seven years of lean. I think we've had our seven years of good, and I think we may be going into our seven years of lean. And it doesn't mean people won't grow stuff. No, it doesn't mean, because you look at Gideon, Gideon in the Bible, when they had lean times, and, and they, he was hiding, doing his stuff, because he grew stuff, but he was hiding and doing it when the angels came to him. Okay. Um, I'm just watching. There's not really any questions now, so uh, do deer eat blueberry bushes? Yes, yes they, they do, do Kay. That's going to be one of our biggest That's a big uh, issue. issues at Pecan Grove Ooh, last I year. I was watching. Oh, man. Yeah, he's, man. he's behind. Uh, last year, I kept wondering Ooh. why some of the trees didn't have that many blueberries on them. And, and come to find out, as soon as it was getting ripe, the deer were, they were plucking things. Plucking and, them right off of there. And so, and probably other animals also. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, Nadia, we will keep your husband in prayers. Um, we're going to pray for everybody who's been mentioning it there. Yeah. I'm just... Right. A, a deer, you know, guys, before I pray, a deer is a browser. He doesn't just run up to one thing and eat it. A deer browses. He just nibbles on this, nibbles on that, nibbles on that down yonder. He, he doesn't just stand in one area and eat like a cow. He just walks and eats and walks and eats constantly. Um, unless you pour a pile of corn out now, he'll sit there and eat a pile of corn. But other than that, they just walk and eat. Uh, Patty asked, uh, do you still drink the Ticino coffee? Yes, I do. I have a supply. Yep. We have a supply and, of uh, it. 
So I don't mention it very often, but I usually drink that more in the winter time. And this winter, I've just not had a taste for coffee at all. I've not wanted yeah. anything. And the past week, I've started actually developing a taste for coffee again. So mm -hmm. probably get back into coffees. I drank some herb teas because they really don't have that much taste. And all, but coffee was just something. Even regular coffees had gotten where I just couldn't hardly stand them. So yeah, okay. I'm getting back into it. JV says he went away I with know. it. Where'd it go? Uh, okay. Right there. JV says I remember my dad whitewashing the trees, but I don't remember what was mixed up in it. What do you use? Whitewashing can be made with two things. It can be made with lime and water, or you can take a cheap latex white paint and dilute it down a lot and use it either one will work okay tara got, gardner she says she sees we're at two hundred ninety-eight thousand. we just subbed yeah i know we yeah, like we, less than two thousand or a little there, over two thousand we've been there something. forever so if we can get i thought it was fourteen or fifteen hundred but i may no. have miscalculated um, they probably took some away <laughs> they probably did <laughs> oh y'all i don't know yeah but we need to get to the three. Well, we don't need to, but I just would like to because I want to be giving stuff away. Yeah, there's people talking about figs. We planted a whole pile of them over at Pecan Grove. We planted lemon figs, uh, one of my old grandpa figs. <laughs> we planted brown turkey figs. Uh, we planted all kind of other things, figs over there because figs just basically grow so easy here in the south. We don't even have to worry about it. What? I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, it just... Same funny oh, thing. Missy V but Butterfly Hill. Why with EMP would you not be able to stop like usual? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe you misunderstood. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can stop anytime you want. I'm just not going to because I'm not going to stop and have somebody try to take my truck away from me or anything like that or my car. If you get out in front of me, I'll just run over you. I it's mean, not that he can't stop. It's not that I can't stop. He don't it's, want to. I don't want to stop because if you do, you're taking your own life into your own hands and somebody could jump in the truck or jump in the car and try to take it away from you and I'd have to shoot them and I don't want to do that. I'd rather just run over them. I mean, <laughs> that's bad. that sounds horrible, but <laughs> it'll be a dog-eat-dog -dog world then. I mean, well, we, we just... Pray we pray we, it don't ever happen, okay? Yeah, We're just, we ain't going there. It ain't going to happen. Maybe. Even though we know Putin is already setting up to do it. Let's pray it don't ever happen. We just pray he don't do it, okay? We know he's planning it. We just hope it don't happen. All Did right. I just say that? I don't know how you said that, but whatever. I wasn't supposed to say that. I don't know what you just said. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to talk about in the next three weeks, was I? No. Yeah, okay. You're supposed to just keep your mouth supposed shut. supposed to keep my mouth shut. Miss Slippy is missing. Yes, yeah, she is missing because she's at a dance she's a, recital type thing for her granddaughter and her dad are dancing. So she's she's probably getting a laugh of a lifetime right about now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess. Um, anyway. Yeah, Debbie says less mess. Uh, uh, <laughs> It's like running over an armadillo on the road. You don't think twice about it. You just hit it and say, I hope I didn't hurt my vehicle, you know? <laughs> but if you have to shoot it with a gun, it's a little it's bit... It's a lot messier if you have to shoot and it with you, a pistol. And mentally, you, know? you got to psych yourself out for that. Well, not really if you that... Well, I mean, you don't, but I, I don't. would. I, mean, I would I, have to. You would have to. It would be easier to hit it with a car than it would be to yeah. shoot it. I mean, okay, we, we've gone way okay, off. Okay, we've gone way off in the left field. Now, you're going to get into my history, and I don't want to do that no more, okay? That, that part of my life's over with and gone. Uh, let's, just, let's just leave it at that. Okay. The old F-150 needs a grill guard. Yep. <laughs> my, 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 one of mine did have one. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, uh, um... That's life in the uh, real world if something happens. Yeah, it is. And the sad part about it is, I mean, uh, it, 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 ain't, right. it ain't going to be good. It, All right. It's called a dead cat bounce. <laughs> that's it. Y'all going to get me tickled. And look, and what's going to happen is, look, no, no, no. <laughs> what's going to happen is when you see people, they're going to have that deer in the headlight look because they won't get out of the middle of the road. Their eyes are going to be like. You're really going to run gonna be like, over me? You know, and it's like. <laughs> They're like, oh, stop. <laughs> you just keep on going, you know? So People you, are going to go, honestly, you're not going to You're, you're, not you're gonna really stop. not going to stop? I'm like, no. 
Oh man. Anyway. It was, oh. it, it, no, we just gonna pray. That okay, Linda, happen. pray Thank for you. my family's all soon. Thank you, Linda. We will pray for you. And I know it's, you're asking a man to pray for you. He was talking about running over. They said people. this is a confession. <laughs> this is. We, I'm not a priest. Okay, don't come. In, uh, uh, Chris says his Glock is EMP proof. Mine is. Mine's EMP proof too. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, it's called a zombie look. Okay, we got to go. We got to, uh... Whew, okay. D says she's trying to make Wanda laugh and succeeding. I love to hear you guys laugh. It does my heart good. Thank you, D. No, I mean, laying all, joke, laying all jokes aside, we are just kidding around with you guys tonight. You know, we, when we get on a roll like this... <laughs> you don't want to keep us I, I don't. I, look, I can, keep ban I can keep bantering back and forth, mm. you know, and, and then when I get through, I'm going like, I hope these people don't take me too serious, you know. <laughs> Uh, we uh, do this all the time. Something he said yesterday or today, I cracked up and I popped something back and I turn around and says, "I do love you." You know that. <laughs> well, I have to be. I have to start singing the Carrie Underwood song, "Jesus Take the Wheel." You know because <laughs> because if he don't, I might not, it might not be good. You know. Oh. Oh man. Pray for the weather. Yeah, the weather's yeah. kind of rocky back and forth here, and we're. And, you know, somebody says, what are we doing for the heat? Danny and I are more used to dealing with heat yeah. than we are this cold bouncing Ooh. back and forth. Yeah. Because we have to cover plants. We have to uncover plants. We have to cover plants. We have to uncover. In the heat, we just kind of have like a, uh, you know, in our high tunnels, we have the, what is it called? Shade cloth on it. Yes, we have shade And cloth. when it gets really, really hot, like July, we don't plant nothing. If it's already there, fine. Yeah. We don't plant nothing in July and August. Yeah. It's usually end of September before uh, we start again. Yeah. So the summer's easier than it is right now for us. Um, uh, Jamama says, please pray for Scott. The treatments are almost over and fear is overtaking him. Uh, I've been there, Jamama, with my wife that passed away. Uh, I totally understand what you're saying. Uh I don't know what he's feeling, but I understand what you're saying because I went through that with my wife. He understands past. your side of it. I understand, it. I understand your side of it. Yeah, uh, Malabar spinach grew great in the heat. Oh, it, it loves the heat. high tunnel. Good Lord, does it love um, the heat. Uh, a real hee-haw moment, yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, Diane's right. God will take care of his children in all situations. You may not like how he does it, but he's in control. He is in control. And that's something that most people overlook for the most part. They don't real, they don't think that God is in control in the good and the bad. Right. Um, he's in control. And if you just look to him, even in the bad, he'll get you through it. He yeah. didn't say he'd take it away from you. He said he'd get you through it. So, yeah, I mean, like this, pray on it, right. over it, and through it. Yes. So you have to pray through it. Okay. Okay. Let's pray, and then you thought of okay. a tip. He has no I've tip. been sitting here cutting up so much, I don't even have... Tip is not even in my mind right now. I mean, <laughs> I'm sitting here going like, oh, my goodness, Father. I said, I've been sitting here with these people ragging around with them, and... Ah. It is... It's really funny. But anyway, let us pray. Father, we are so thankful... Thank you for laughter. Thank you for giving that to us as one of our senses, Lord. And uh, you said in your scriptures that it is really a good medicine, and uh, and I believe that. I believe that it is, and uh, we can. I thank you that we can have fun on our on our live show, Father. We don't have to be dead serious all the time, and and people can actually sit down and laugh, and and, and we can just enjoy one another's company. Uh, that's what we really are after: is for everybody to just enjoy themselves and not have a tense moment all the time and now it's okay to be serious and and there's times in life when we need to be serious but there's also a time as you said i believe it's in ecclesiastes you said there's a time and a purpose for every time for everything there's a time to laugh there's a time to cry so father we try to uh we try to listen to your word and, and be obedient to it now there's a lot of people in here tonight father who have loved ones and people themselves who are uh, dealing with a lot of cancer, Father. That seems to be the big thing nowadays. And uh, I, I've 
I've been there. That's all, I, that's all I can say. I've been there. And it's not pleasant. And I'm really angry that there are actually seven cures out there for cancer. And they will not allow them at this moment to be used. And it just aggravates the fire out of me that, 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 that it's that way. And I do believe... That when judgment time comes, the people who prevented this from getting back to the people who need it will have to stand in judgment before you, because it's like it's like murder, and and I just pray, Father, that you'll convict their hearts to the point where the people who have loved ones with cancer or people who are going through it themselves uh, will be able to have these things, and they'll be able to uh, to be healed, Father, this side of heaven. And Father, we thank you for. Thank you for just being our God and, and for loving us and for just taking the time to listen to us when we pray. Because sometimes in our minds, it's like, I know he's just going to be tired of hearing us, but Father, we know you never get tired of hearing your children talk to you. And Father, nothing is too small to ask for and nothing is too large. And we have to remember that as your children. And all I can do is say thank you. Heal the ones that need healing. Give the ones that need comforting comfort. And let them know that you're right there with them through everything. Prove to them that you're a friend who sticks closer than a brother, Father. We love you. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Oh, I was watering. That's what happens when you make me laugh. I know, I know, I know, All I know, right. I know. So, you ain't thought of a tip. Oh, man, tip, tip. Goodness uh, gracious. That has been the last thing on my mind. Um, the things I... You can't talk about. I can't. I <laughs> well, can't, if we say too much. I can't um, say them. I mean, it, it, they'll pull my channel or they'll over the make next, us take this video down. Yeah, over uh, the next few weeks... Just um, don't be surprised at what you hear. In the next three weeks, do not be surprised what your government does. And what you hear. And what and you hear. And believe half of it. Try to prove uh, it. I don't even know if you can prove I, it or I, not prove it, if it would be true or I, not. I don't even know if I would believe uh, any of it. Uh, they're at each other's throat. They and are. And so be very careful of which side or either side you choose because... Do not choose any sides. Let me tell you all Stand something. Stand back and observe. People always go, well, they're a left winger. You know, well, there's two wings on a bird, a left and a right wing. Both of them on the same bird. You know, I mean, uh, your government does not have your best interest at heart. Let me tell you that now. They're not coming to save you when something happens. Uh, but they can't even get along with each other. So there's two different factions in the government right now. I can't talk about it, but I can tell you this, they're at each other's throat, mm -hmm. and the next two to three weeks will prove uh, whether they can work through some situations Ugh. or not, so uh, I don't, man. Um, so for the most part, there's, there's not a right answer. There, no, there's nothing good going to come out of what they're doing. No matter nothing. which way e any of it goes now, there's no right answer. And, you know, Barb says, I choose Jesus Christ. That's it. That's that, the that's, only That answer. is the only way is to choose And it doesn't mean Christ. you're going to not have issues. Right. You're in this world. Not of it, but you're in it. And you have to deal with whatever is thrown yes. your way. But if you have Jesus as your background and your faith is there, you can make it through it um, yeah and going through it there's a lot of people think they're not going through anything but people for thousands of years have went through stuff and what gets them through it is their faith oh uh, that's uh who is it raw food writer says is dome of government good or not really uh i don't actually know how you're wording that unless it's worded in a way but I can tell you this, there are things under most of the major cities in the United States that will prevent them from having a problem. Okay? Let me just put it that way. Yeah. Um, I can't go into any depth about it, but um, um, I like what Jeff says. This, this, this is not my home. That's what I tell Wanda all the time. She'd start telling me something. I said, look, this world ain't my home, 
I'm mm. just passing through this place. I'm going to make the best of it while I'm here. I'm going to enjoy as much of it as I can, as long as it's, mm -hmm. you know, um, not going against the word of God. But you know what? I don't care. I mean, and I know that sounds horrible to say that, but I really don't. Uh, there's things I just don't care about. I mean, I could care less who is the next president. I could care less what's going on across the water over there because in the latter days, it is Christ who opens up the seals in the books. And when he opens them up, it's him who's opening them. And if he's opening them up, he's got my best interest at heart because I belong to him. So Matthew 24 says not to be worried when these things come because they have to happen. Mm -hmm. So why should I stress myself over this? Just do what you're going to do. I mean, it's kind of like the children of Israel when they went into captivity in Babylon. They began to cry out to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, entreat the Lord. What do we do? What do we do? We've been took captive. Another country's come in and took us over. What do we do? They've led us off into their land. And Of course, we know Jeremiah went to the Lord and he came back. He told him, he said, the Lord said you're going to be here for a while. Build <laughs> houses. Marry. Plant vineyards. Plant gardens. Live, because you're going to be here for a while. We know they were there for 70 years. So, I mean, that's kind of the way I look at it. You know, I'm not saying that we should give in to the enemy, but I'm saying they're going to take us over because we shook our fist in God's face and took his name out of everything. We're going to be punished. So, what, what does the scripture tell us? Judgment mm -hmm. must begin at the house of God. Because you know why? It's not the world. God judges a nation based on his people. Not the worldly people. Not the wicked people. Because as long as God's people's doing what's right, there's not going to be a judgment. A nation's not going to collapse. It's when good people do nothing mm -hmm. that sin creeps in and we allow things to happen under the quotations of, oh, church and state needs to be separate. Bull crap. Let me tell you something. The church needs to be in the middle of the state. The state needs to stay out of the church because it has no authority over it. But the church has all authority in the state. You know what I mean? We've got to get our priorities in the right place. And it's too late now. Judgment has already fell upon America. It's going to happen. Uh, but it doesn't mean give up your faith. You can't give up your faith. It means you got to still stand strong no matter what. you got, you got to be like Daniel when he got thrown in the lion's den. you got to be like the three Hebrew, Hebrew children when they thrown in the fiery furnace. you got to just say, Lord, walk Your with will. me. We're Your going will. through this thing, you know, and we're going to come out on the other side. So anyway, I'll it. get off to preaching. If I ain't careful, we'll be here the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah. Lord knows my heart. He knows I, I want to help people, yep. but... I can't change the world, and I can't save the world. And I have to accept that. Love you guys. Uh, <laughs> I love having our live stream, okay? What can I say? Y'all have a blessed night tonight, and uh, we will see y'all hopefully in the next video. Just watch Go over to Pecan Grove, mm -hmm. sub, because that's where all the videos are going to be with any information in them that tells you anything about gardening. And if you want to hear Danny preach, click in Tuesday for porch time. Yep, because I done shot it already. I had to. My nose has been itching the whole time. Y'all quit talking about me. Oh. <sighs> uh, anyway. I can't get that off. What do I do? Is that? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, I got I it. I think so. Give me that thing. Nope, give it back. Okay. We Here fighting, we go. We fighting over the mouse. Fighting and over the mouse. You don't like a mouse. I hate a mouse. But I like the mouse. She likes a mouse. Well, not a not a mouse mouse, but th this mouse. Turn this thing off before you people. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night. Bye bye.